Hi everyone, uh, my name is Cindy. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today I will explain about the research every day. And I will start from the research paradigm definition, and then the three types of the research paradigm. Then I will more focus on one of the types from the research paradigm, and then at the end I will give you an example of research questions using one of the research paradigms. Okay, let me share my screen first. Okay. This is the presentation highlights. As I told you before, at first I will give you a little bit the uh, explanation about what is research paradigm, and then three types of research paradigms, and qualitative. Yeah, I will focus on the on qualitative paradigms as one of the three types of research paradigms, and then uh, the last is example of research. Let's start with the research paradigm definition. Okay. Research paradigm is about the research paradigm while doing their research, and every researcher has a different paradigm. The result of the research will be affected by the paradigm that they have or use. I mean, they it uh, refers to the researchers. Mm. Uh, there are three types of research paradigm. First, positivist, positivism, inter uh, interpretivism, and pragmatism. I'm sorry, I did uh, typo there. Yeah, it should be positivism. My bad. And then... Uh, first one, the first types is positivism. Positivism seeks objectively, while uh, interpretivism, interpretivism is the second types of research paradigm, and it seeks subjectively. Positivism likes to explain, predict, or control reality. The positivism paradigm has characteristics. Quantitative approach is the method that positivist people use by distributing questionnaire and statistical analyze, analysis. The second one is interpretivism. Interpretivism depends on participant point of view. This paradigm using qualitative methods they are particularly interested in particular data. And the last one is pragmatism. They believe both positivist and interpretivist people believe. They combine combining the two methods, positivism and interpretivism. They see what method can work for their purpose. Uh, now I will be focused on the qualitative method and the qualitative method is was inspired by interpretivism paradigm and a qualitative method interpret the word from point of view of participants. Uh, when the participant says A, then the interpretivism, 
people would believe it was an A. So, and then they produce in uh, produce information in a subjective way. Pointed's method also focus on the facts and image as a data rather than number. Uh, in quant quantitative method, they like using number. I mean, uh, when they do their research, they uh, like using uh, a big number as the depth, 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 depth of information. And the next. Qualitative data, data, qualitative data have unique steps in analysis data using specific protocols for recording data and quantitative method what uh, difference between from the other designs. The qualitative approach includes comments by the by the researchers about their role and qualitative designs focus on data collection, analysis, and writing. Oh, it's loading. I'm so I'm so sorry because it looks like my laptop having some trouble. Why? First, Okay, I think it was the last, last uh, page, last slide for this PPT. And now we go to the uh, example of research question. Let me make a video. There are a number of questions, methods, instruments, and the participant. We are at with the three questions, three questions spreads. Let me adjust this one first. Okay. Okay. For number one, let's say you will do your research or architecture student and you need to know how about the about uh, the students views but using a quizzes homework and grades for their one of the methods in the classroom to uh, make sure that the students are quite understood about the material. And okay, let's start with uh, research question number one. For example, first, to what can um, what is 
assigning homework improve student achievement i mean achievement in this case is about their understanding but or their goal in the one of the one of the material in the classroom or in the learning process and then okay there is okay x okay i'm sorry my bad there is some multiple error uh, and then for this column we we will uh, decide what methods that we will use uh, okay let's start with the quill questionnaire which yeah. and uh and then this column is about the instrument instrument is uh questionnaire items questionnaire items use title yeah questionnaire items And then, uh, what, 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 what? And then this one is participant. Oh, I'm sorry. It should be, uh, let's say there are. Oh. oh, let me ask. Participants, let's say in what classroom there are 72, 70, oh, 72 uh, 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 Okay. Oh, they are through to mean for number two. Uh okay. Okay. Uh what? What? And that's the use of P, this or past in a course or classroom, increase student. Oh, students achieve. Uh, okay, for uh for this for this second question, you can you can choose one or uh, not not one, maybe six six participants from from. Uh, from the 72 participants as your participants in the second question to be interviewed. Okay. Interview. You need the, uh, the methods is interviews. Oh. Interviews. Interviews. And then the Instruments is uh, 
Yes. Yeah, since when you are interview this the participants, of course you need the the checklist of or the list of the question to or interview your participants. Then let's say you have six, yeah. Uh, let's take six participants from uh, 72 participants, six uh, selected, selected participants. According to the result of the question. Yeah, you you can uh, after you have the result of your your questionnaire, and then you will start interview the participant in the number two and in number two, and then you will try to interview them, the participant. Uh, six active participants and six the uh, passive participants. And the last one, let's say you will also interview them to make sure uh, what are the uh, uh, third to uh, how that how the students views view, views the use of grades in the use of grades in the in the class in the class in the classroom is uh, how the students view the use of grades in the classroom is it increase or is it uh, is it the achievement increase or Jesus. Hmm. I make a typo. And then yeah. Let's say you will also interview interview them to uh, get to know about what about uh what about the students' views or their uh about the student views, about the using of grades when uh, they have a quizzes or test in the classroom. Is it the grades make the students achieve the goal of that uh, material or the course in the classroom or not? The view, this is also same, yeah, like, like the question number two. Oh. Selected participants for the to the result to the result of but let's make it six selected participants uh, six selected participants yeah or uh, let's write like this six students let's write like this yes i think it's better like this okay okay and then the example that I give you today, it's uh, the mixed methods. Yes, mixed methods. Since this type of research question, 
using two methods, qualitative and quantitative. Here we have a questionnaire as the quantitative. Okay, since we have a big, big number, yeah, 70, 77, 72 architecture students, uh, as like uh, quantitative methods characteristic, they like using big number. And when you, uh, okay, I will tell you this. When you, when you uh, use quantitative, quantitative methods, at least when you distributing questionnaire, at least you will have 50 participants, uh, the minimum, the minimum, the minimum participants is 50. Yeah. And then we have interviews as the qualitative methods. So yeah, yeah, like, like the mixed methods, mixed methods definition, but, uh, mixed methods or this, this method is using or combined uh, uh, positivism and positivism and yeah, positivism and interpretivism. They com they combine they combining combining the two methods. Yeah. So it was the example when you want to make a research question for your research. I hope this this presentation or this explanation will help you when you make your research in the future. Let me start sharing. Okay. So uh, that's all. For today, I really hope I can help you. Uh, yeah. Let's meet or uh, in the next video. Or I will I will also start or I will show you or I will explain you another material or another uh, methods, another tricks about how you will make uh, a good uh, a good journal so that's all for me thank you thank you for watching